Rebel. She was the queen of ABC. She was the queen of television. <laughs> in no time at all, Roseanne has become a smash hit. It's the number one show in the country, reaching a staggering 30 million viewers. And Roseanne has creative control. When the show hits number one, that of ABC Entertainment, he sends a chocolate cake to the show. They gave me a chocolate number one. Well, Roseanne has heard that when guys have number one shows, they don't get cakes. They get like Maseratis. They get like Ferraris. And they gave me a chocolate number one. Excuse me. She feels it's disparagement. But once Bob Iger got on ABC, boy, they started up in the gifts, I tell you. <laughs> you read my diary. Mm -hmm. I gotta go work. <laughs> the question about Roseanne was always, was she representing a new kind of person? Was she this newly empowered woman who was taking on the old guard? Or was she just like a tyrant like anybody else was, firing men and women? I made the sign that I put on my door. These are the people that will be fired when the show goes to number one. And uh, one year later, they were all gone. When I took the job, my agent and my lawyer said, she will fire you. She fires everyone after a year. And I said, OK. Because, but they said it's going to be a hell of a year. She fired me. If you're working for Roseanne, she's not going to settle for much at all. And rightly so. Her name's on it, and it's her story. It's her real life. Being Roseanne, it was, it was not the calmest of places, so you had to kind of be ready on your feet. We were often changing stories, um, you know, last minute. Sometimes it was, hey, I met... Uh, Joan Collins. Or I met, yeah, I met Joan Collins <laughs> at a yeah. party. And I went Joan Collins to play my cousin, so write her into the episode yeah. this week. It's a nice outfit. Thank you. That's a nice place. It was a little crazy. Oh, hi, Arnie. Hey, Rosie. Where's the man of the house? Tom Arnold is put in the writer's room. And Tom Arnold is there to make sure that Roseanne's wishes are followed. Tom Arnold will enjoy many titles on the sitcom. Actor, writer, producer, and perhaps most importantly, Roseanne's real-life husband. It makes things tricky on the set. Roseanne taking up with Tom Arnold was a huge story. And all this is turning up in People magazine and all that stuff. It's all a big topic of conversation. You are such a leech. There's always some drama going on every week that I was there. Wow! Hi, Hi. Roseanne really did change things in TV. Oh, no, not June Cleaver. She wasn't your typical housewife. Oh, let me do it. It's easier. She wasn't your typical actress with this voice that could be very piercing and grating. DJ! Back in! Dan, come here! And just that really blue-collar, working-class person. Us regular people, we're paying more taxes than the rich people because they got all the lawyers to figure out the loopholes. I want to find loopholes. To represent working class as the noble class in this country, that just hasn't been the point of view. Roseanne was the first woman I saw on television that was rejecting the social construct of what femininity was supposed to be. I always wanted to do a show that w was uh, complimentary to the viewers who I felt were, you know, me when I was a little girl watching TV. Give me this damn thing. <laughs> Make it about something that I can identify with, and she certainly did that. In my culture, it was always a strong mother-based home with a loving husband and some problems and loudmouth kids, so I wanted that. Come on, Mom! And of course they faced money issues. Our school's having a food drive for poor people. We'll tell them to drive some of that food over here. <laughs> it was a show where you could see people paying bills or the lights being turned out because we weren't able to pay all our bills or the games Roseanne would play, how to shuffle around the bills. First we send in the phone bill and we forget to sign the check. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> then we send the water bill to the electric company and electric bill to the water company. Now you're cooking. And you know that charge card bill? It never even showed up. <laughs> That's what Roseanne did over and over That's again. Silly. She just constantly reinforced this idea that there were struggles to be had. What? You're fired. You don't have to have sex just to have a boyfriend. I know. Look what I found in David's room when I was cleaning today. Oh, man, that looks like pot 
set up as a comedy. Everybody's loving it for a season and everybody's relating to it. And now she starts introducing issues. Dad, I'm real sorry that you died before I got to tell you some stuff. The birth control stuff, it's time f for me to um, get some birth control. Uh-huh. I think the, the episode where DJ doesn't want to kiss the girl in the play is kind of pivotal American television. I just don't want to kiss her. Hey, black people are just like us. They're every bit as good as us, and any people who don't think so is just a bunch of banjo-picking, cousin-dating, barefoot <laughs> embarrassments to respectable white trash like us. We dealt with domestic abuse with Jackie's character and her boyfriend. Darling, says your back's all bruised up. No. It's nothing. Well, then let me see. No, don't. Put it on. Out. Stop. Stop. Everyone was terrified of tackling that subject. Was it going to be too dark? Was it going to turn people off to watch that when they're turning in a sitcom? That son of a bitch. You don't understand. He beat the crap. No, he didn't. It's no big deal. I came back to her and I said, powers that be are very concerned about this. Don't want to do it. She said, we're doing it. I said, okay, great. Roseanne was one of the first people in that arena that said, no, you know, this is it. It has to be this good all the time or I'm not going to do it. Don't say anymore. She was always willing to sacrifice some of the laughs in a sitcom for the depth. And I think people loved her for that reason. I did. They were in the comedy business. But it did give you an ongoing sense that this show was tapping into something that other shows weren't, and that's what made it special. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.